Hey, how you doing? Anthony Ferraro here of Create Sci-Fi. Welcome to another video in my series of how to create a sci-fi short. I'll be working on uh, a hologram that I'll be using for the short film Erringer that I've been making as a part of this series. Now this is a basic, very basic uh, After Effects tutorial. Nothing too crazy. And if you have a basic knowledge or if you want to Google a little bit, you should be able to do this no problem. Um, with this hologram, uh, it's kind of an evolution for me to this more pixelized looking hologram. Um, basically, I would always do this Star Wars inspired type hologram here that you just do with a scan line and this looks great. But now I've been using this um, sort of cubed pixel version that's a little upgraded and I really enjoy this. So I'm going to show you how to create this look and then I'm also going to show you how I comp that into my final footage. So let's get started on creating the hologram image. Okay, so we're going to go into After Effects and we're going to take our footage and we're going to create a new comp. And that looks good. So we're first going to grab our levels, drop that on there, and we just want to get a contrasty image. We want to get some highs and some lows that the software will pick up. Now I'm going to create a new solid and we're going to make that gray and go over to your effects and find radio waves. Drop that on there. Okay, so you're just going to grab the producer point and put that right there straight between the eyes. And we'll change the frequency to 0.8 and the expansion to 12. And that's the starting point of our waves. And now we're going to go to the color and change it to something that fits my design. It's usually a desaturated blue or green, which really sells this effect. And the fade out time we'll set to 10. Start with to about 80 and the end with to one. All right, so now I'm gonna grab a Gaussian blur. I'm gonna throw that on there. Um, repeat edge pixels, make sure to click that. And I'm just gonna tweak this till it looks soft right about there. Now I'm gonna duplicate this layer and just take the pen tool and I'm just gonna cut a rough shape around the outside of my subject and I'm gonna feather that in and that's just so that the radio waves don't go on the face. Now I'm gonna change the color of my subject to match the radio waves. So I'm gonna type in tritone I'm going to pull the tritone onto my image and I'm just going to change the midtone to something like a light green or a light blue. That looks great. And so I'll copy and paste that into the second layer. And now I just want to match the radio wave closer so it's more unified. Now from that, we're going to create a new comp. We're going to pre-compose that and I'm going to add a camera. Just a basic 50 millimeter camera is fine and we'll add that. Now we're gonna add the built-in After Effects plugin that gives us the effect and just type in card dance and drop that into your project. So we're gonna change gradient layer one to match the name of the layer that we're working in. Now we're gonna pop down to Z position, change the source to intensity one. So that's your basic card shape. Uh, we want to make that a little more complex. So we're gonna increase the number of rows and columns. I'm going to put 225 for rows, 325 for columns. So now we just need to adjust a few more settings. In Z position, offset, type in 0.6. And we'll go to the Y scale and change that to 0.7. And I'm going to adjust the Z. And I'm basically just tweaking back and forth till I get something I like. So now we're going to engage the camera. So we're going to change the camera system to comp camera. And we're going to change the lighting to first comp light and we'll change the ambient light down to zero. And under material, the highlight sharpness, somewhere around 20. So now that's all black, which is absolutely correct. We're gonna add the light and change that. So layer new light, point light, the defaults are fine. So now we're gonna drag the light and Z space just to bring it uh, closer to the subject. And we'll position it over the head right about here. So now we wanna pull out some highlights. We'll do that by duplicating this layer. I'm going to go to the X scale and turn the offset down to around negative two in there somewhere. And then I'm going to grab a fast blur and I'm going to put this on the layer and I just want to adjust it till I start to see the highlights pop. Now I'm going to add levels just so I could darken that and brighten up those highlights. That's looking good. So now I'm going to add a gradient to this. So I go and grab gradient ramp 
drop that on there. And you can just pull these handles to the left and the bottom one to the right. And I'm gonna change my color to like a light greenish blue that matches my image. And then the bottom color to a darker to get that gradient. Just gonna blend this a little. That looks about right. Just gonna blend it a little bit more. And let's change that transfer mode to add. Now we're gonna put a black solid over everything. And I'm just gonna create a rough circle around our image and I'm gonna feather that. And later when we comp this, that's just gonna define our area. That's looking good. And just for a final touch, I'm just gonna add adjustment layer. I'm gonna put in some curves, just a basic S curve. And that's just gonna make that pop just a little bit more. Again, we're always looking for the highs and lows. And that looks good. And let me ram preview that. <laughs> and yeah, that's looking good. <laughs> I really do like that look. So now that we have this hologram image created, we're going to marry it to the plate, to the source footage from our film Erringer to create the final composition. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. All right, back into After Effects, we're gonna drag in our source footage that we're going to build this comp around. And we're just gonna do a basic motion tracker so that the hologram will be in sync with the rest of the footage. All right, so create a new null object. That's what we're gonna set the motion tracker to. And we're going to track the motion of this point. This takes a second, so I'm going to cut that out. Great, so now we have that motion data and we're gonna assign it to the null object hit apply XY good good so just scrub in the null layer is attached all right so now we're gonna create a white solid this is gonna be our flare and I'm just gonna take the pen tool and I'm just gonna make a rough sort of uh, exploding shape from our source point and I'm gonna feather that and mess around with the mask size until that looks right and just scrub through that looks good so now we're gonna grab fractal noise and this is just gonna make it a little more interesting. The main thing here is the evolution. So we're gonna set an endpoint and an out point and rotate the evolution just to give that a little bit of movement and that looks good. So now we're gonna grab some fast blur and we're gonna put that uh, vertical so we get those lines and yeah, that looks good. Now we wanna tint this. So we're gonna tint it uh, again, this like light blue, light green hit screen and good. I wanna make it look like it's emitting from the source so we'll fade it in and out by putting the anchor point at the base of the shape we created. And with just two simple keyframes, I'm gonna make it grow and fade in. And that's really all you need. All right, so now create a new adjustment layer and find a flare. So grab the flare center and position it to where your hologram will be emitting from. You're gonna to go to flare center and on Mac, you're gonna alt click the stopwatch and that'll allow you to pick wick this to the null position point. So that way your flare and your glow pattern will be all connected to the same point. Test that, that looks good. And the same thing with the flare, I want to fade this on and off. I'll fade it up a few frames before the glow and all right, that's looking good. Now we're ready to bring in our hologram image. So we're gonna bring that, drop that into the comp and you're gonna hit add and now it's added in. Let's change this to a 3D layer so we can better manipulate it within our project. And I just, I'm also gonna grab the tint that we added to the glow and put it on our subject just so that it blends a little better. I won't have it at 100%. I'll just put it to something that looks nice. That'll work. All right, so now I'm gonna grab bulge. And by adding the bulge, it just gives it a slight 3D perspective that'll tie this into our comp a lot better. So I just adjust that till it looks good. You don't wanna go crazy. And now I can mess around with the 3D positionings and maybe just tilt this and angle it back just so that it fits the source image a little better. Now I'm going to go to position, again hit Alt stopwatch and I'm gonna put in a basic wiggle expression here. You can just copy mine and that's just gonna make it float a little. And now I'm gonna pick whip our hologram to the null which also has the flare and the glow and now everything should be moving together. And here I'm just gonna do a few final adjustments and I'm gonna add a mask. 
so I can make it wipe on and off. And I'll add a little bit of a feather there and keyframe that, just two keyframes, and that looks good. Now for just one final touch, I'm gonna add some noise to this. So I grab noise alpha, drop it on my image, and I'm just gonna mess around till something looks pretty distorted. And I'm gonna add a keyframe again, and the idea is it comes on distorted, and then we reduce that distortion so that it appears as that it's tuning in. And that's our final comp. So I render that out, export it, and here's the final version. I really do like that cube look rather than the scan lines. Again, this is another uh, moment from my Sci-Fi Short Erringer that I'm working on as part of this series. So please subscribe so you can follow along with that process. And I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, um, leave comments. I love to read the comments and be sure to sign up for the email newsletter. And remember, I'm just here to help make Sci-Fi. <laughs>